Father, do you know me? Do I know you? I look beyond the waves and know what needs doing. But if I cross that stream, will the current take me away? My life, take it. It's yours. But will they know why? Give me strength and give them eyes to see. Amen. So when the blood clot detaches from the femoral vein and travels through the circulation, it can become lodged in the lungs. And this is known as what? Anyone? Laura? A pulmonary embolism. That is correct. All right, let's move on. Let's see. I have something to say. What's up? Uh, I've been thinking about my future. <clears throat> Can we just stop eating and listen for a second? Something wrong, Laura? No. I mean, it depends. You know how I plan to go to med school after undergrad? Yeah. Um, I've decided not to. Are you crazy? Hey, come on, hey. Why aren't you going? You've already been accepted. I know you're going to think this is strange. You know I take the church very seriously and- What are you saying? <laughs> I'm going to be a nun. A nun? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. No, I'm not. But why in the world would you want to go into a thing like that? Well, there are many reasons. But simply it's what I'm meant to do. Meant to do? Have you ever thought that maybe you were meant to be a doctor? That you were meant to cure sick children, cancer patients? Hey. No, no, don't you start. <laughs> She's got to be kidding. Well, when has Laura ever joked about these kinds of things? I'm sorry, I just, I can't handle this. Have you really thought this through? I have. Some people are fine with their faith just being another part of their lives. Not me, I... I have to live it. Believe me, I know it's not what's expected of me, but it's what's right and arguing won't change that. Laura, I don't want to argue with you, but you're being selfish. I mean, this is like a slap in the face to, to us, to the choices we've made. You're smart, you're talented, you could be anything. And I'm going to be a nun. To me, that's more important than making a lot of money or buying a big house or being successful, whatever that means. Sorry for ruining dinner.
It took a lot to say what you did. We get that. But this is a lot to take in. Your mom didn't have this in mind for her only child. Don't think we don't love you. We both do. I know. You can always change your mind, you know. No one will ever think less of you if... I'm not going to change my mind. I put this off for long enough. It only made it harder for everyone to accept. Have you told Noel yet? Why don't you want to meet here? I wanted to meet somewhere pretty and quiet, where we wouldn't be bothered and we could enjoy the sun. You're not going to like what I have to say. You're breaking up with me? It's not what you think, though. You're actually breaking up with me. Please just sit down and listen to me. I... No! No. I care about you. It's just... We're not meant to be together. What the hell does that mean? I'm joining a convent. <laughs> you think I'm an idiot? I'm serious. You're, you're just trying to get rid of me. That's not what this is. Come on, you're, you're kidding. You're, you're making up some bullshit so you can end this, or you've really gone off the deep end. Don't be nasty. You have to be joking. Just tell me the truth. Come on. This has something to do with that girl I met at Mark's party. This has nothing to do with any of that. You know, I go to Mass occasionally, so I get the whole church thing. But you're living in the Dark Ages. First, you didn't want to sleep with me like you're too holy to be touched, and now this? You know, I'm getting the sense you're a dyke or something. Like you think no man's good enough for you. Stop making this all about you. This is important to me, and you're making it into something it's not. Look, I'm sorry if I hurt you. That wasn't my intention. You know what? Laura, go fuck yourself. No! Damn it. How are you doing this fine day? Hello, Father. Is Sister Christiana here today? Yes. I believe she's still around. I need to speak with her. What are you wishing to talk to me about? I'm ready. I've decided that I'd like to join the Sisterhood as a candidate in the new year. That's wonderful news, Laura. I'm so happy for you. The sisters will be delighted you'll be joining them soon. You're upset. How did your family take it? I see. It's hard for others to understand this choice. Did you talk to your family? I'd always mentioned it as an option. I never had any real discussions about it. They always wanted me to go to med school, be a doctor. There's nothing wrong with being a doctor. It's a noble calling. 
Maybe I'd be happy if I became a doctor. I'd help people. But would I be fulfilled? I don't know. I see. We must follow our calling. Decisions are not made in a vacuum, and it's hard to control how others affect us. Are you having second thoughts? Maybe. I'd be stupid not to have doubts. But that doesn't mean I'm not serious about this. All faith is laced with doubt. I just don't want to put this off, or I fear someone will talk me out of it. I understand what you mean. I faced a similar crisis when I told my family about my intentions. I felt that if I didn't jump into the church with both feet, my faith would collapse. I had to do something radical to validate the presence of God in my life. But it was a different time back then. This vocation was more common. God often calls us to follow a path that doesn't seem clear at the time. But if my life is any indication, following that call is the right choice. I know that. And that's why I want to commit to this. Then why are you here talking to me? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want something from me, Laura? Something that you can't get from your parents? I just want you to tell me I'm making the right decision. That's not for me to say. I believe it's right, but only God can tell you what's right. This is your decision to make, Laura. Only you can determine the path your life will take. and ask for guidance, God will listen. I ask for clarity, Father. People around me don't understand what I'm doing. I need them to. I need their support. I need their love. I don't want to throw my life away. All I want is the answer. <laughs>